How is everybody? Today we are going to talk about uh, how to find the range and interquartile range. Okay. So I'll get started. Find range and in the interquartile range for the data set of minus five, seven, four, eight, two, eight, minus three, minus six. Find the range and the interquartile range. First, we'll arrange the numbers from lowest to the highest. So minus six is the lowest, followed by minus five, then minus three, then two, four, seven, and there are two eights. The range is defined as highest minus lowest, which will be eight minus minus six. Now we all know two minuses make it positive. So it is eight plus six is 14. In order to find the interquartile range, let's first find the median. Now this set of numbers has eight numbers in it. So it's an even number. The median is the average of the two middle numbers. In case n, which is the sample size, is even. Here n is equal to 8. So we are looking for the two middle numbers, which are 2 and 4. We take 2 plus 4, add them together, and then divide by 2 in order to find the average, which is 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the median of this data set is 3. Now, the first quartile will be the median of the lowest four numbers. What are the lowest four numbers? Minus six, minus five, minus three, and two. Here, the sample size is four. So the median of these four numbers will be the average of the two middle numbers, which is minus five, minus three, divided by two. Both are minus. We add them now together and then keep the negative sign. So it is minus eight divided by two is minus four, is the first quartile. So it is the median of the first four numbers, or the lowest four numbers. And third quartile will be the median of the four highest numbers. And these are four, seven, eight, eight. So we are looking for the median of this set of four numbers, which will be the average of the two central numbers, in this case, seven and eight. So third quartile is seven plus eight divided by two is 15 divided by two is 7.5. We need the information on the third quartile and the first quartile in order to find the interquartile range because interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which is 7.5 minus minus four. Two minuses make it positive, so it's 7.5 plus four. Hence the interquartile range which tells us about the middle location or the range of the middle 50% of the numbers. How widely the number, the numbers in the middle 50% of the data set are spread out is given by IQR. So the, the spread of the middle 50% of the numbers is given by IQR, which in this case is 11.5. Why do we talk about the middle 50%? Because remember IQR is Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is the 75th percentile and Q1 is the 25th percentile. So 75th percentile minus 25th percentile gives us the middle 50, 50 percentile of the numbers. And it IQR shows us the spread of the middle 50% of the numbers. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And uh, I'll come back next time with another problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Take care.